Hey guys, it's Abby from Super Spectacular Sisters, and I'm back with another GarageBand tutorial. So, in my last GarageBand tutorial, I told you, well, I showed you how to change uh, the key and the tempo of a loop in GarageBand, but I didn't exactly show you guys how you can change the tempo, at least, of an actual song in GarageBand. So, what you're going to need to do first is just open up a new Thing, song in GarageBand. I called it test number two because I already have a test up. And now you're gonna see this thing over here. It has like a little movie sign and a music note. And it is called the media browser. You're gonna click on that. So that's what happens when you click it away. Um, and it's got three options. Audio, photos, and movies. We're gonna focus on audio right now. These two are for the movie band on GarageBand, but we're going to focus on audio. And what you're going to do is just find a song in your library. I'm going to pick a song that I had made and saved to iTunes. So I'm going to click and drag it over here and while it's importing the file. This thing, I've already had it opened up, but this is what it, your screen would usually look like. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the volume. And I'm going to click on that first, so just to listen to the song. This is what it sounds like. It's it's a regular key, but I'm going to turn off metronome, because I don't like metronome. And uh, this automatic tuning thing works well with like the singing, but this is just the karaoke track. So what you're going to do is click follow tempo and pitch, and then you're going to wait for it to do its thing on analyzing audio for flex time editing. It could take a little bit of time. You just have to be patient. And so what's going to be really important about this following tempo and pitch there? So it's got check mark. That means it's um, right. And then just messing around with the pitch. You go to this I button down here and you go to master track. And you click edit. Um, then you're going to click here to add an effect. And you're going to go down to AU pitch. You're going to click on that and then click on these little dots here and this is going to help you change the pitch. This doesn't work all the time, but it is very, it is kind of reliable. And that's what it'll sound like if you change the key of the song, the pitch at least, and then to change the tempo, you do what we did in the last one. You go to this project thing right here and then you just change the tempo just like usual so so I don't really like this key I'm going to turn, if I can get a hold of the little knob I'm going to turn it down and then once the drum kicks in it sounds really good and that's how I want to sound you can just mess with the pitch. This is this pitch is the only thing you have to worry about. The tempo down here. The key, you can change the key, but I mean like it doesn't really work. This is this is not going to be helpful for this one. It's going to be helpful if you're doing a loop. This is going to be helpful for an actual song and then the tempo stays the same. You really shouldn't mess with the signature because that could mess up your song completely. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below if this is actually helpful, and if it wasn't, please comment down below something else I can try and help you guys with. Bye!